Hello friends, today I am reading class 12, chapter 4, A Thing of Beauty, about the poet, John Keats, 1795 to 1821, was a British romantic poet. Although trained to be a surgeon, Keats decided to devote himself wholly to poetry. Keats's secret, his power to sway and delight the readers, lies primarily in his gift for perceiving the world and living his moods and aspirations in terms of language. The following is an excerpt from his poem, On the Muir, a poetic romance. The poem is based on a Greek legend in which On the Muir a beautiful young shepherd and poet who lived on Mount Latmos had a vision of Cynthia, the moon goddess. The enchanted youth resolved to seek her out and so wandered away through the forest and down under the sea. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. Its loveliness increases. It will never pass into nothingness, but will keep a bower quiet for us and a sleep full of sweet dreams and health and quiet breathing. Therefore, on every morrow are we wreathing a flowery band to bind us to the earth, spite of despondence of the human dearth of noble natures, of the gloomy days, of all the unhealthy and o'er-darkened ways, made for our searching, yes, in spite of all, some shape of beauty moves away the pall from our dark spirits. Such the sun, the moon, trees old and young, Sprouting a shady boon for simple sheep, and such are daffodils with the green world they live in, and clear rills that for themselves a cooling covert make against the hot season, the mid forest break, rich with a sprinkling of fair musk rose blooms, and such too is the grandeur of the dooms we have imagined for the mighty dead. All lovely tales that we have heard or read, an endless fountain of immortal drink pouring unto us from the heaven's brink. So friends, if you know someone who will benefit from these videos, kindly share it with them. Like the video, and also subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any more videos from this channel. And thanks for listening.